everyone welcome to frappe school i am lynet sheren and this is the second chapter in our sales management course today we will be discussing the sales team and sales partners by the end of this chapter you will know how to use erp next to set up a sales team and create sales partners and allocate targets to sales team and the partners as also track performance for sales team and partners after months of rigorous training jake has finally confirmed his position as a sales development representative at star electronics in the previous chapter we have seen how it is necessary for a sales person to be allocated to a specific area or territory so that goals can be defined as well as accurate statistics can be maintained for future reference jake might work in a specific territory or a specific product group but if we have multiple team members involved in one single transaction we will need to track each person's contribution accurately moreover star electronics also offers incentives based on sales performance all of this data needs to be maintained in a way that calculations become much easier while the incentives are handed out while erp next manages that for you furthermore apart from the internal sales team star electronics also have sales partners who sell their products and services their information and contribution also needs to be kept in check for proper financial reporting let's see how we can set up all of this data pertaining to the sales team and the sales partners in erp next we can access the sales person's list from the awesome bar let's view it in the tree view here we can see the sales person tree containing all the sales team members we can even create subgroups to categorize teams even further we can go to add new sales person to add a new sales person we need to add a name for example jake and select the employee id for this sales person if we want to add more sales person under this one we can select the group note checkbox now we can see that this sales person is added to the tree once done we can click on it and edit it to add more details star electronics offer a certain percentage of sales as a commission for the orders booked by the members of the sales team we can add a commission rate for this sales person next let's see how we can set targets for this sales person click on add row under the targets table here we can add the item group fiscal year yearly target quantity and target amount we can also add how the yearly targets are distributed across the 12 months by selecting the target distribution the target distribution shows what percentage of the overall target is to be achieved in each month once the sales person record is created we can tag it in transactions like sales orders and sales invoices to track their activities we have the option to tag this sales person to a sales order directly from here or we can go to the sales order we previously created and go to the sales team section here we can add the sales people involved along with their contributions and track their incentives for this sales order Similarly we can add sales person details in the sales invoices and delivery notes now that we have seen how to create a sales team in erp next let's see how to add sales partners to the system since sales partners are external parties that can have various functions the first thing we will configure is sales partner types to access the same we can search for it in the awesome bar once we open the list we can see some predefined partner types in the system like reseller retailer agent etc 
we can add a new type by clicking on add sales partner type we can name it for example product sales partner and save it now let's create a new sales partner here we can see all existing sales partners for the organization and add a new partner by going to add new sales partner first we will have to name the sales partner select their partner type and select the territory they will be working for next we will add their commission rate for example 15% and set targets to add details of the sales target for the partners click on add row and select the item group suppose consumer products a target quantity or amount and select a monthly distribution for this target once done we can save this sales partner to our system once we click on save we can add the address and contact details to this sales partner Let's now see how we can add details about sales partners while creating sales orders, sales invoices and delivery notes. First, in any sales order associated with a partner, there is a commission section where we can select a sales partner. Their commission will be calculated based on the order details. Similarly, we can add sales partner details in a sales invoice as well. This brings us to the end of the second chapter of our sales management course. I hope this chapter helped you understand how to manage and optimize a sales team and sales partners along with streamlining target allocations and tracking sales transactions. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss sales order management. Thank you.